Hi, it's Snorkel. Welcome back to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. The inhabitants of a quiet English village have suddenly disappeared. As we explore the village, we discover abandoned cars, discarded suitcases, most disturbing of all, an empty, lifeless pub. What will we use to uncover this odd supernatural mystery? Puzzle solving and lateral thinking. Of course. Let's get going. I, I believe this is the last chapter. Now we have Kate. Let's see what she's doing. I believe that she mentioned several times she's the last one. Um, but Stephen also mentioned that he saw Kate. So I'm not Kate's experience with this seems to be different than the others. Maybe I'm not sure. I mean, it's implied that it's implied that that Kate has some different connection with this than the others. Like she didn't, she's not disappeared. I'm not sure. Okay. Wow. So uh, I, well, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here, but okay. So I guess there's a little, there's a light here. Okay. This is a oh, Wallace Tower one. All right. We'll go in here. See. See what's going on here. Tower one. What's this? Oh, so oh, that's a recording. That's interesting. Yeah. We, do we see that weird symbol again? Huh? On the plane, Stephen leaned across me and pointed out of the window. Down there, he said. That's home. But all I saw were patches of color. Hmm? I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. Can we go up here? What's up here? Up we go to Tower 2, I presume. Not sure. I assume. <laughs> Does the UK even have observatories actually? I'm actually I'm not sure about that at all. Tower 3. Okay, well, I'm doing this out of order, so I apologize. Okay. I know it didn't mean to hurt any of them. Try and explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. Yeah. Oh, because she's talking to it. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And I'm happy for them. Hmm. Frank walks his fields with Mary. When oh, wow. Together in the orchards of their love. What? Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. Oh, that's weird. All of them are happy because they are together. Huh. I understand it better now. Uh, okay. So they're not. Of time. So they're not dead. Maybe I don't know. Butterflies. What? Uh, huh. Okay. The, yeah, there's that butterfly thing again. Let's go back down because that was three, and we we did one and three. We we're doing these out of order. I don't know. I feel like we are. Well, there's no other way to go, so we have we do have to go back down. I think that's okay. We'll get, we'll head back down here. Um. So okay, so everybody. So it's a collector of memories. That's interesting. I mean, it's very interesting, right? Okay. Oh, that's where we came in. Okay. Is this two? It is. Okay, so it's crossway. Got it. So one, two, three, four, staggered. Got it. So we'll do two, and then I guess other stairs going up to four? I'm not sure. What this blurb is going on here? Okay. Can we turn this on? No. Yep, another one. Jeez, Kate. Butterfly dancing in a strip of sunlight. Mm. All of its life contained in a single day. I feel like this means something. Between the ebb of the darkening tide. Lying there with the pattern curled around me. I saw the inevitability. Hmm? The necessity of presence born from absence. Hmm. The constant unfolding. Okay. Uh, I mean, sure. 
No, okay. Okay, so, so. Okay, so that was two. We did three up there. I guess we just keep going. Is this four, I think? The layout of this of this observatory is really screwy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess. Did we I think we went to that one? Alright, I know, I'm going. Um Kate is not the light ball showing us how to get there though, which is interesting. Um I think I've been to this one, but I want to double check. I don't want to miss it. Oh look! Yeah, this is three. I think. Yes, we've already been to this one, so that's okay. All right. We'll head back down and keep going. It was weird, though, is that... Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Why are all these books and everything? It's really strange. So it's a collector of memories. But it also seems to be collecting people, too, you know? It's very strange. And we know that Kate's in Tower 6. Here's 4. There we go. So we know that Kate's in Tower 6. Um, and so, okay, so Kate tried to tell it it was hurting people. Is it hurting people? I mean, maybe. We're not, but everybody also seems to be in the light. Like when Kate talked about it, When Kate talked about it, he sort of said specifically that the people are in there and they're and they're happy. The pattern lean in and time slow to almost <gasps> oh. Stephen's hand and the moment hang in the air forever. Hmm. I watched his face. And in the last second, I almost believe he saw me. Oh, because he, oh, he did. He wasn't frightened. Yeah. Or angry. Mm. I remember his expression. Just like I remember it from the first time. Early that morning when he woke and... Still half sleeping. God, I love you. Mm. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go. Knowing I wasn't ready to join him. Oh, so people we have held huh. ourselves here in this place, held the light to the ground because we were afraid of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living. But you're. I've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without hmm. grasping this meaning. The light we cast transcends. Our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Where does this go? Is this how I came in here? I'm so confused. Uh. Okay, that's this is. Um, I guess keep going up. <laughs> So, okay, so, but, you know, I understand what Kate's saying, but also I think that she's been squirreled by the light. And, um, she's making a lot of definitive decisions for people that aren't her, <laughs> you know? Whoa! Okay, this is crazy time. It reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Oh, the world. Oh boy. Has come to rest. Kate, what are you doing? The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere. The bridge joining our stories. Mm. This world existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In oh, Kate. And houses, our traces radiate. Kate, what are you doing? Others will come to dance in the light we cast. Mm. We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue. So I don't... Hmm. Okay, so, but... I can... Okay, I can hardly see anything here. It's super dark. 
And there's not, I checked, and there's not a gamma setting, so I guess we keep going to Tower 6. Um, so Kate's making an enormous amount of assumptions that what she's doing is right for everyone, uh, and not letting other people make those decisions for themselves. <laughs> um, but it's also unclear what happens to people. I mean, it seems like the people aren't, like they simultaneously are not dead. They've just turned into the light. But then they also, I guess, I guess as she said, they, so that's the thing about this. She said they transcended, that there's, there's an inherent quality of people that transcends their physical body. So I guess that's the, okay, wow. Okay. Uh, can't see a blur from this club. Okay. Oh, the final one. So is Kate? Hold on. Is that it? I think so. Seems like it. Come on now. Okay. okay I can't move anything. Okay, there she is. Recording the final one. The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone. And we will join them. We are born apart. Driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough but in between in the single day of living that dancing in a strip of sunlight we can find what we miss the love that makes us whole the imminence everybody found their other this mm. path is mine. That's oh, that's odd. So everybody has somebody else that they go into the light with, and that makes them happy. But for her, it's the pattern. Hmm. Wow. That was everybody's gone to the rapture. It's done by the Chinese room, a small independent studio, not super small, but small-ish, um, out of the UK, London, I believe. So this is a pretty interesting game. There, there were a couple of flaws. I, I, I think that I've heard other people mention that, that they felt like the speed you walk was a real issue, and the Chinese room sort of pushed back on that, but I, I have to agree. It was an issue. It felt like the, 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 they, the walk faster was really weird. I've never seen anything like it, because it, it's shift, which is pretty common. But, like, you know, uh, WASD and shift. But, like, when I pressed it, there was like a 10 second, a 5 to 10 second delay before you started moving faster. It was really weird. It was very strange. There were parts of it that seemed like they were bogging down, except I don't think they were, as I think about this. Because when you looked at the graphics, the graphics were fine. They weren't jittery or anything. They were, they were moving along just fine. It's just that... It's just that, for some reason, from a creative standpoint, I feel like they just decided there were some parts when you needed to move super, super ultra slow. And I feel like that was a little bit of a mistake. But that aside, I really like this. I really enjoyed what happened here. Let's let's talk a little bit about, about what happened. So the father, Jeremy, and Wendy had a huge issue with each other. Wendy seemed like a pretty persnickety person but the father apparently had a crisis of faith at some point it also seemed like that um, Frank's wife had a horrible disease and was dying from it and Frank went to the pub when when the father and I, I think that this is what Wendy hit at when the father gave his wife Mary a lethal dose of morphine. 
and Frank couldn't be there, and so he left. Stephen, who was an objectively horrible person, was married to Kate, but had a had a affair with a former girlfriend, Lizzie. Kate knew about it, confronted him about it the night that all this happened. And then apparently, so I'm, I guess that, I'm going to guess that, that everybody in the world is gone, that they tried to contain it to this valley. They couldn't do it because it adapted. But as Kate said too, it didn't realize that it was hurting us. But then Kate went on to say it wasn't really hurting us. A little confusing, but a really, really fun game. Like, super fun. I had a good time playing this. This was originally released as a PlayStation exclusive and then ported to PC. Um, I would, I would, I would recommend buying this. I totally would. I think, it, I think I'm sure I missed a ton of stuff. Like I'm positive I missed a ton of stuff because I'm really terrible at that. But it was, it was quite fun. It, the boy, the story's super complicated. I had to really think about it, and I think that if I didn't edit these videos, um, I think I would have missed a lot of stuff. It was a, it was, it was an. Ext I've heard people complain that they felt like the story was really pedestrian. I think the story is incredibly complicated and super complex, and sort of winds around with time and different people and different places. It gets very complicated, but I, I think in the end I got it right. I think I got it right. Um. So I think that, that Stephen got Lizzie pregnant. Lizzie was leaving by the train, but she there were no trains running, so she was the one who was walking along the train line and got hit by the train. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. And so Kate saw this light, did something so the light, whatever this light creature was, came here. Kate said it was very lonely and it was by itself, but then it sort of got us and that was the power there were a couple of things apparently it started with the birds and all the birds died and then it realized it could move to the humans and sort of collected our our memories and as she said our our consciousness goes beyond um beyond our corporeal body which is an interesting thought it's not a new thought but it's interesting and that and that we were being absorbed into this light and everybody was there Everyone is there, and they were happy. So I guess all humans are gone. I mean, probably more than humans, because there were talks of dogs, and we didn't see any dead dogs around. We saw a, an enormous amount of dead birds. So, so what a super interesting game. Like, this, is, this is an iconic game. I, I liked... Um, some of the some of the controls were squirrely to be sure, and not really intuitive. They had to move the mouse left and right. Maybe it's easier to play with it with a um, controller. I should have tried that. I never even think about it. I, I generally prefer mouse and keyboard. But I felt like the story at first was a little obtuse, and then it kind of started to really come together. In particular, a Stevens chapter I thought tied almost everything together, like almost. Was really actually quite interesting um they said that everybody found somebody but they didn't mention who wendy found they mentioned a couple of things but they're, they're like everybody had somebody else that they were with or some other thing that 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 made them happy and wendy didn't seem to have that because <laughs> they mentioned frank and and frank had his wife his his but they also mentioned his wife mary which he had which so that's very strange yeah, I, I suspect even the Chinese room doesn't have answers for a lot of these because it's it's a little squirrely and uh, mysterious. The, the numbers on the radio I find extremely curious, like very curious. Uh, I, I suspect that it's probably uh, some sort of cipher. I, I suspect that's probably the case, that if you really were detail-oriented, you could go through and write all those down. Uh, not the, the radio or the, no, the phone. It, when when you pick a phone, it would just have these, you know, numbers talking. I suspect if you if you wrote those down, you might be able to get like a really simple cipher. You know, like like one equals a, two equals b, three equals you know, c, zero equals space or nothing. 
I, I would suspect you could go through there and look at that and probably decipher it. I'm, I'm sure someone has. I'm, I'm positive someone has. So, yeah, I would, I would say pick this game up. It's, it was really fun. Um, the voice acting was great. Like I said, my only, my only main problem with it was really the the speed at which you walked sometimes. I, 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 I would like to see a version of this. I might, I might look at a version of this on YouTube and let's play on YouTube where they played the PlayStation version to see if it did that as well. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Coming up, something brand new. Thank you so much again. I'll see you next time for a brand new game.